How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my best class of the suppressed UGR here in Black Ops Cold War. All right, so personally, I don't think the suppressor is a good option here on the UGR because of the low effective damage range on the weapon. Obviously, suppressors like to take away effective damage range, but I did get multiple requests to record with something like this. So we're going to get started here. Obviously, the sound suppressor, I don't think it needs any more recoil control attachments, and this stakes off 15% effective damage range. So if I were to go with the GRU, it's at 25% there. For the barrel, the 12.8 inch VDV reinforced. In my opinion, this is definitely the best barrel. I didn't really find much success with any of the other ones because this gives us the most effective damage range. Normally it would be the task force or the rifled, but the rifled here doesn't give us bullet velocity. And as you guys can see, the bullet velocity is at a very low 200 meters per second, meaning you're basically, even if you raise that effective damage range, the bullets aren't going to connect quick enough for it to be viable. So the, re the reinforce is definitely the best option. Down to the underbelly Spetsnaz grip. This is for basically all of our recoil control needs here. 6% vertical, 20% horizontal. I like to use the explosive flèches here for that 11% uh, added damage. Uh, it's it's kind of like hit or miss for me. When they have flak jacket, it does the same damage. It does not. It does like maybe plus 0.01%, but without it, it definitely kills pretty quickly. So I guess why not run it? But keep in mind, if they have flag jacket, make sure you're hitting some headshots to kill them quickly. And then for the stock, the KGB skeletal, 30% sprint to fire speed, along with 10% also added to the aim walking movement speed. I said it in the gameplay, this is kind of on the same level as the Lapa for me. It's definitely usable, but it's not very good. So it's more of like a go out there and have fun kind of weapon. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button for me. That'd be awesome. If you like what you see, make sure you also smash the like button. Easiest and most effective way to support this channel. Let's jump right into the gameplay. Okay, so we have the UGR. This thing is uh, <laughs> kind of on par with the Lapa for me. It's it's just not very good. I tried to use a couple subscriber class setups, and honestly, this gun's so bad, it's kind of hard to do that. It just takes too long, especially if you guys want, like, other maps in the rotation. But the one thing I did do is I kept... I kept the suppressor on because somebody did want a suppress class setup. So... I'll oblige to the best of my abilities. Get off, team man. Trying to hold this side of the map down here. I gotta run. Yeah, there's too much going on there. Just maybe hit this UAV and go over here. They're gonna spawn here, so I gotta go. Okay, I should be good for the second. We're going to dip through. Thought I saw another one, but it looks like teammate got him. Huh? Looks like that trophy system was a good choice to use. I have a teammate with a sniper that's kind of going crazy. Every time I look, he's going to kill. See, there he is. The only bad thing is, my team is really hard on the OBJ at the moment. We've lost the hard point. Hard point is secure. Hard point located. So it makes it significantly more difficult, honestly, because their positions become much less predictable. Good news is, is they have this hill. My team's spawning in the back, though. We got a hit marker there. Okay. Is 
Those explosive bullets almost feel like they're gonna kill me, but I know they do like no damage, so. We're gonna back up. Make sure I'm watching my back here. All right, got a Scott, got a spy plane, so that is good news. They have a bunch of people over there, though, so that's less of good news. They're starting to press pretty hard. All right, let's get back over here. Alright, time to hit that UAV. We're too close to the nuke to wanna wanna push pretty hard like this. Let them push up to me. There's one. There's two. There we go. I was way too close for me to want to really get pushy with that. Oh, I got... Ow. He was holding a the grenade there waiting for me. They're trying to get tricky with it with the smokes, but that's not going to work. Good artillery. Oh my, a little quad feed there from him. I'm vibing right now. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it myself. Let's go this way instead. We died. No big deal. We have the hill. They do like to rotate, so I gotta pay attention to that. It's probably this guy right here. Let's hit the UAV. Hear him. Hear another one. Thank God you have a sniper.
I didn't hit the nuke in time. Yeah, uh, well, I was going pretty crazy, man. GG's, that's the end of the game. I wish teammates would, like, listen to the nuke and be like, oh, let's get off the hill so this guy can call it in, but it is what it is. GG's. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.